Come on, Max. You sure you saw someone under here? Sure as I'm standing here risking a herniated disc. Now he... <laughs> hey, you in there. You been giving us a hand saving your keister? Just put your arms up and lift. It's a lie, Sam. Ooh, now we're talking. On three. One. Two. <laughs> Someone was under there? Yeah, yeah, with the under. Can we get back to the giant monster now? Hey, you okay, buddy? Looks like you took a pretty good bash to the bonds. I'm sorry, bash to the bolts. Have you been watching British television again? I can't help it. The season's so depressed, it's like a non-stop thrill ride. Uh-oh, we've got incoming. Hey, Lumpy, you might want to take a couple steps to the right and or left. Ouch! Try dodging next time, kid. Get over here before you get yourself killed! That's not a very nice thing to say to someone who's suffering from a dumpster-induced concussion, Max. Sorry, Lumpy. Welcome to the party, kid. Now get down! And thanks for bringing down our unintended casualty count. I'm Sam. He's Max. We're the Freelance Police. You might recognize us from our breakfast cereals and underground comics. That 50-foot bundle of fun popped up a few minutes ago and started trashing our neighborhood. You should see what it did to our portico! You're adorable when you misuse architectural terms. Anyway, we think we've got a plan to stop this terrifying enigma. But we need someone with five fingers to operate this! Uh, where were you keeping that, Max? That's classified, Sam. Also horrifying. That's the spirit! Okay, kid, here's what we need you to do. When I yell go, we're gonna try to distract Mr. Grumpy Heads. All you have to do is load these rockets into this state-of-the-art rocket launcher. Which we totally didn't steal from a military trade show swag bag. Wait until we've distracted it, point this in the general vicinity of one of the heads, and... Boom! Great big gobs of greasy, grimy monster guts! Do we have a copyright on that? Ready, set, go! Hey, big guy! I'm shooting you! I was afraid this might happen. It appears that this menace from beyond is capable of temporarily learning from its mistakes. Let me try to distract it this time. Hey, monster, look over here while I read you your rights. You have the right to get blown up. If you don't want to get blown up now, it's too bad because you're going to get blown up now. You have the right to have an attorney present while you get blown up. Because we think it's funny when lawyers get covered in monster goo. Pay any attention to me. Maybe we should try to distract him together with the gift of music.
music stopped working. Yes! A pity. Hey, what happened to all those fireworks we didn't get to shoot off last year? Good idea, Sam! All monsters are entranced by the hypnotic glow of a light fire. What sort of dodge are you not getting? Uh, you have to load it first. Jinxing us, Max. We're all out of distractions. Just keep shooting. I thought you'd never ask. Yeah! Uh, I think we need to find some cover, Max. That thing's twitching like a grammarian in a chat room. Hey, look! It's shrunk! They don't usually do that. Maybe you just got out of the pool. You okay, kid? Bumpy's fine, Sam. Those dilated pupils and twitching eyebrows are the signs of a true hero. You know, Max, you may be onto something. I am? Kid, you've got moxie, nerve, spunk, and an overall joie de vivre that's downright refreshing in this mechanized age. Why? As it so happens, the freelance police are looking to expand their ranks, and we could use a gutsy go-getter like you. Oh, please, Sam, don't. So what do you say, kid? Do you have what it takes to become one of the few, the odd, the marginally compensated? I'm begging you. Do you want to join the freelance police? Ah. Hey, were you raised in a sewer? Is there someone out there? We're busy! No, we're not. Come on in. Hello! Oh, it's you. Welcome, kid. Did you fill out that form we gave you? It's right here, Sam. Here, Lumpy, hold this for me. We haven't been formally introduced, but I'm Sam, and this is my huggable partner, Max. Please don't hug me. We're the freelance police, selfless wranglers of scurvy gutter trash, supernatural botherers, and vermin of all stripes. I'm less a vermin and more of a lagomorph. Crime never sleeps around here, so we need quality cadets like you with limited career options and leaders of type O blood. Looks like you've already filled out an application form. Great. I'll just enter all your data into old Vicky here. In the meantime, Max will give you a basic aptitude test to make sure you can walk and chew gum at the same time. Rise and shine, Lumpy! You're about to take a one-way ticket to HE Double Hockey Sticks with yours truly as a tour guide. I'm gonna turn your flabby, useless body into a lean, mean, freelance police and machine. Do you understand me? Just show him the checklist, Sergeant Rockhead. Over there is a checklist of basic tasks. If you complete them without accidentally bursting your appendix, I may allow you to continue your training. This line has been disconnected due to delinquent payment of bills dating back to 
Don't you eat my scrumpos! The government just ordered a permanent recall on them on account of all the mutations and diseases and whatnot. They keep telling me to get a computer or a scanner, but nothing beats the feel of a slowly rusting typewriter with a few missing letters. That's Dr. Dills, the yellow-green soda that the astronauts refuse to drink. It's only sold by unlicensed food trucks and carny folk. That's my prized Joe mug. I take mine with a shot of cream and two scoops of sugar. And just a hint of danger. Don't forget, one shot of cream and two scoops of sugar. Hey, good for you. You found my breakfast corn dogs. Just so you know, I like my corn dogs like I like my, uh. Ah. Uh... Max isn't good with similes. Are you sure we want Lumpy using the microwave? Its warranty ran out three popes ago. It'll be fine, Max. Stray bursts of radiation build character. And tubers. Mmm, the sweet... While you're poking around the lacy unmentionables in our closet, would you mind taking out some of those cockroaches with my six-gun? Mr. Jingles, our stress relief clown. Give it a good smack or two. It's very relaxing. Yeah. All right, kid. I think Mr. Jingles has had enough for one day. Max keeps telling me to throw out the record player, but I love the sound of vinyl. But I hate being called a hipster. That's the song from the Meet the Aqua Bears ride at Captain Aqua Bears Pirate Fun Park. We used to play it to celebrate our Aqua Bears' birthdays. Did you interrogate punks? I wouldn't do that. Okay, whatever you do, stay calm. The murder hornets can smell fear. Open a window. Nice view, isn't it? At least it was before all those yuppies moved in. Uh, it's 2021, Max. No one calls them yuppies anymore. Can't think of a reason not to. people's business, don't you? Don't look into the light! He's joking! Go for it! Not 
many people are brave enough to stick their hand in a ramp hole. I think you mean downing up, Sam. You might want to check yourself for boo-boos later today, kid. That's our old aquabarium. They all went into hibernation a few years ago during an impromptu aquabear birthday party. People always wondered what went into Dr. Dill's secret aquabear hibernation formula. I guess I accidentally duplicated it somehow. You're not looking for hints, are you? Because that's not really part of the program. Neither are tips, clues, or implications. That's a moon rock. We make sure to grab a few every time we go to the moon. They make great stocking stuffers. I know you're eager to begin your training in earnest, but if you interrupt me, I'll have to start all over again. Oh, that reminds me, Sam. Ernest canceled, so we'll have to train somewhere else. Are you sure Lumpy's ready for gunplay, Sam? I let you carry a gun, and you've got the impulse control of a caffeinated hyena. Yeah, but I'm cute. Bam! Fusilage! Good job, kid. Now put my gun back before you're overwhelmed with cockroach bloodlust. Do cockroaches even have blood, Sam? Shooting at Max will only antagonize him, kid. Over there, Lumpy. Get Kraken. Release the Kraken. <laughs> the potential cadet places the empty mug in the coffee maker and lights up his shine. on fraternizing with the noobs. Especially you. Get working on that list.
Ah, that's the stuff. Uh, sorry I was a little rough on you earlier. I'm a complete animal until I get my morning Joe. And afterwards, he's just some sort of grumpy half-dog, half-human thing. Can it, fussball. I love the acoustics on those things. They're great for listening in on conversations. And beer! Sam! What Max is trying to say is, Sam! Oh, it's three of my favorite top eight sharp toys! We need to know if you can hit the broadside of a barn with your throwing arm. And that's not just a euphemism! Go ahead and use the darts, the axes, or the knives. Whatever floats your boat. Now do me! Now do me! I know these initial tasks seem menial and degrading, but menial and degrading tasks are the cornerstone of a freelance police officer's day. Why don't you throw me like that anymore, Sam? Ham and HR said I had to cut it out. Oh, there's nothing sacred anymore. Hey Sam, Lumpy's all done with the aptitude tests. How'd the kid do? Somewhere between brain dead and unformed pile of clay. Just how we like them. I got some more typing to do here, but that can wait. Anytime you're ready to head on over to our training grounds, just give me a holler. Ready to start your training? Alrighty then, it's time to gird your wits and steal your loins for the challenges of the Freelance Police Training Grounds. Here's helping you like pain! Here we are at the Freelance Police Academy of Remedial Crime Busting and Planetary Protection. Sorry about the bumpy drive. But there's two pounds of lead embedded in my right foot. As you can see, the Academy has been built on the remains of Cat Makwa Bear's Funtime Park, a colorful seaside amusement park that closed down in 2005 under mysterious circumstances. By mysterious, he means it went broke. And by colorful, he means psychologically scarring and full of asbestos. In order to complete your training, you'll need to receive a passing grade in 10 sanity-defying challenges. Actually, it's nine, Sam. The Supreme Court just ruled that the tenth one was, quote, cruel, unusual, and lacking pizzazz. Okay, fine. Nine challenges. Once you pass the first three, we'll let you try the next three, and so on. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. We'll be tracking your progress with these special bracelets we confiscated from one of the many mad scientists we've jailed over the years. Just stick out either hand, and Max will slap it on. Stick out your hand! Slap! Okay, kid, you're good to go. Whenever you're ready, just saunter over to the challenge of your choice, and we'll tell you what to do and where to shoot. The 
Mountain Bears attraction is temporarily closed for seasonal cleaning of the neutrino ray lenses. We apologize for the inconvenience. Welcome to Sam and Max's Voyage of Pain, a.k.a. the... Okay, before you begin... Are you ready for deep muscular torment? Jeez, Max, dial it down a notch. As I was saying, each station on this course is designed to test your glutes, abs, pecs, traps, and zeds. We'll tell you what you need to do as you go. Ready? Set, go, run! First up, simply step on this track and avoid these pummeling round things. So easy, even a banana slug can do it. Next up, wall climbing. Watch out! We didn't have time to properly attach all the handholds. Next time you apply for a physically demanding job, maybe you should ditch the kitten heels. Therapeutic eyewear? Maybe a bowl of soup? Please throw better. Good one, Luffy! I think we made this too easy, Sam. Smooth as silk. Or maybe butter. See? That was too hard. We got you, Luffy! Nice ball holding, kid. Now let's just get this out of the way. Climb this ladder. Ignore the blood stain. Just hang there like the Mona Lisa. Let go! Let it go, Elsa! Now pop some balloons. And your preconceptions about law enforcement. You're not skittish around sharp objects, are you? Because that's kind of a deal breaker. Why do balloons make a popping sound? Nobody really knows, Max. Oh, that wheel is making me, making me hurt me. Try staring at a fixed object, like the sun. I love jumping. Yes, the combination of alcohol and throwing sharp objects is truly one of mankind's greatest achievements. Those balloons look a little funny. Yeah, it's possible that some of them are unused haggis platters. Wow, that was better. If you're getting dizzy, try putting your head between your legs. If we sterilize these starts, it'd be really bad if the kid caught a carny disease. I personally soaked them in a tub of my toxic body humor. This would be so much cooler with ninja throwing stars. Right? Am I right? I'm right. Yeah, you say that about everything. Don't be afraid to pop the balloons. We're 90% positive they don't feel any pain. Nice going, Dark Canyon. I saw something special in this kid, Max. Turns out it was a fatal lack of self-preservation.
Bomb disposal is a dangerous, but hilarious part of the job. We seem to get one in the mail almost every week. Nice free throw, Shaq. Whenever I play basketball, my feet hurt for a week. Maybe you should wear shoes. Did you know the basketball was invented by a Canadian? Yeah, yeah, but they still owe us for Java, Apple, and Ted Cruz. You could build a charming Brooklyn townhouse with all those bricks. The thing I like best about basketball is wearing those baggy shorts. I like the headbands and fragile ankles. Bowling! <laughs> That's enough hooping it up for now. Last off, little kid, ring the bell. No pressure, loser! Corner! Excellent! Excellent! Anus! Yay! You finished! Now wait for us outside while Sam and I upload your massive fails to the internet. Well, pull my ears and call me Missy. You passed. Missy is easily impressed. Ah, there you are. As you're probably aware, the life of a freelance police officer is fraught with all sorts of dangers. <laughs> yeah, like using the word fraught with a straight face. One of the most harrowing and most explodey of these dangers is the threat of a ticking time bomb. The real ones with wires and screws, not the metaphorical ones with climates and debts. Inside this abandoned tribute to can-do capitalism, you'll be asked to defuse a number of bombs before time runs out. We've put them in the severed heads of the attraction's robots because we love whimsy. Take a moment to calm your nerves, then head on in to get started. Holy hopscotch and Hayek, Max! The brains of three of our nation's greatest entrepreneurs have been replaced by fiendishly clever time bombs. I hate when that happens. We'll help you defuse them with some online manuals we've dug up on the dark web. Your examination begins now. The first thing you need to do is open up the head of Thomas Edison here like a ripe mango. The manual says there should be a screw, bolt, or wires somewhere on the side of the head. Move it around to find the right one. Then open her up. Gently. Salutations, entrepreneurs. My name is Thomas Alva Edison. Alternating current, alternating hokum, I say. Looks like wires. Grab the wire cutters. Good. Now listen to the order of the colors. Don't mess up. Yellow. Blue. Green. Good job. Now don't touch anything yet. It's a fail-safe system, Max. The heads have tells to choose the correct action, but the rest are lies that'll make it go kaboomskis. But which one is the right one? Well, according to the manual... His eyes turn blue when he's telling the truth. Huh. Mood eyes. When he says poke me, poke him in the eyes! No, 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 no. When he says, boot me, tap him on the nose. Poke me. Poke me. Plunge me. Poke me. Boot me. Plunge me. That looks like a Phillips head. Get the Phillips screwdriver to take it off and open the head. Black. Capitalism and 
patent attorneys. When his eyes are yellow, he's an honest fellow. Boot me. Boot me. Squeeze me. Boot me. Squeeze me. Plunge me. Boot me. Squeeze me. Boot me. Squeeze me. Boot me. Squeeze me. Plunge me. Boot me. Squeeze me. Looks like wires. Grab the wire cutters. Blue. Red. Yellow. and only had to electrocute 25 elephants in the pursuit of them. Red eyes are the sign of the truth. Funny, with me they're a sign of bloodlust. Poke me. Poke me. Plunge me. Poke me. Plunge me. Squeeze me. That looks like a flathead. Pick up the flathead screwdriver to take it off and open it up. Yellow. Red. Green. White. You know that little light bulb that goes on over your head when you have a good idea? I own that. He's telling the truth when his eyes are green. Smack me. of time, kid. Yeah, but can you do it while hanging upside down in a piranha tank? Eh? Nicely done, cadet. You've officially passed the Bombs Away Challenge. Big deal! You can train a chimp to disarm a bomb, 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 bomb. Hey, Sam, we should train a chimp to disarm a bomb! Feeling you were being watched. Yes, but that's because you're almost always looming. What can I say? Is that moon rock we donated to the park back in 92 still here? Fun fact, it's still glowing. I don't see why we need any new recruits, Sam. How about because your last birthday cake nearly burned down the block? That was intentional! <laughs> and besides, I'm not getting older, I'm getting distinguished.
ye old theme park strengthometer. Mocker of virility for untold generations. We'll let you try it out later, after you've passed the first three challenges. I see you're admiring the statue of Dr. Duncan Dills, creator of the Aqua Bears and Dr. Dills Soda. <laughs> and if you're not, you should be. We never met Dr. Dills in person, but we admired his can-do spirit from afar. Mostly because of the restraining order. I see your eye has wandered over to our circle of carnage. Along with the rest of your misshapen body. Hey, you really should exercise more. Ignore him. Now, the life of a freelance police officer isn't just about shooting things. But it's not not about shooting things, if you catch our drift. The sad but exceptionally fun truth is that you will occasionally be called upon to responsibly discharge your firearm while protecting the innocent and or saving the world. Responsibly discharge your firearm? <laughs> Are we shooting bad guys or getting ready for a spring cotillion, Sam? When you're ready for some target practice, just step into the circle and we'll set you up. Welcome to the Circle of Carnage. Carnage! 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 We fudged together the park's shooting galleries to test your firearm skills while being overstimulated by a hideous panopticon of garishness. I saw panopticon of garishness at the Crown Plaza back in 98! Your weapons are on the table in front of you. Try not to shoot any civilians. Or us. We're gonna go someplace safe. First up, it's the Old West shoot em up Uh, why are the bank robbers kangaroos, Sam? Because this was built in Australia, where 95% of the fauna would just as soon kill you as look at you. Keep shooting like that, or Hall will be overrun by wallabies. Reload! Don't hit the civilians. Why do you just throw your guns like boomerangs, huh? Put on you. You no good Vegemite eating varmint. The reverse Coriolis effect must be throwing off your aim. Oh no! It's a spooky graveyard full of zombies, mummies, and other monstrous and therefore socially acceptable targets. I hate it when the dead don't stay on their side of the veil. Have a 
Nice shooting, Tex. You've officially earned your Circle of Carnage badge. But we're still not giving you a gun until you've passed the rest of our tests. Because that would be irresponsible. Yeah, irresponsible. that? That bell means that you've passed the first three Freelance Police Academy challenges and are ready to move on to the next round. Join us over by Ye Old Strengthometer and we'll get... That must be the hotline. Commissioner, how's the family? Still in hiding? Swell. Really? Upside down, you say? <laughs> no! Well, gotta go. I love you too, sir. That was the Commissioner, or his alternate universe doppelganger, with a dire warning. Never eat expired pork? No. One of our enemies has escaped from prison, and is threatening to unleash mayhem in our neighborhood. Why can't people keep their mayhem properly leashed? Well, that's not really the point. We've got to get over there pronto. Come on, cadet. It's time for a field trip. Of danger!
The city's underpaid sanitation workers are great. You'd hardly know there was a 50-foot-tall planarian worm wreaking havoc here just a few hours ago. Okay, kid. According to the commissioner's insistent blubbering, Theodore Tox, one of the city's notorious criminals, has escaped from prison and has sworn to exact vengeance upon us. That seems to happen a lot, Sam. Here's some wanted posters with all of Tox's inappropriately intimate details. You can tack it around your waist. Let's go talk to some of the locals and see if they've seen him flying around. I was unhappy that Bosco's was closing down, but then I saw it was going to be replaced by a new cupcake joint. Yum! Yeah, I don't trust any cupcake that isn't wrapped in cellophane and pitched by a dancing clown. <laughs> 